Welcome guys to the brand new episode of the Kingdom and this is looking quite impressive now I have to say I've tried to light it up a bit um, it's an absolute pain doing it in the dark because there's mobs everywhere I have, well, I spent a lot of time burning mobs it's quite fun but it bottom layer is almost finished and I did the math on how many blocks that bottom layer is alone and it's about 176 stacks of smooth stone. So if I had collected that instead of using lava, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. I would be probably caved out a whole mountainside by now. But then I thought, if I want to use my mycelium, I need to get enough dirt to cover it several layers. Because I want it to go, say, well, let's see, use this. If you want the outer layer, say the outer layer is this base here. And then on the outside I probably want to go flat for a little bit with dirt. And then go, well, actually, one dirt on the outside, then it go up one. Like so. And then I want it to go up a bit more. So say like five, six blocks inwards, I'd go up again. Etc. Until in the middle it might be five, six blocks high. I don't need a big incline, just a like a little rounding off. And then that's gonna be about six hundred stacks of dirt, which to be honest would take a while, but it's not impossible. So I think I will do it. So I had a plan and uh sorry about the rain, it rains a lot I guess. But uh, I had a plan about this dirt and other materials and I thought that where my emerald mine is I've kind of destroyed a lot of it but we're in extreme biomes over there so it's extreme hills and extreme desert and stuff and I thought that well I had a lot of suggestions about doing sort of mob arenas and that's a really cool thing to do in the future and something that I'd have to design when we get to actually 1.4 because the mobs are kind of changing their AI so any mob sorting and stuff won't probably work that have works now. So I decided that maybe I'll go and hollow the whole of that mine out to bedrock, or not to bedrock, just to enough so there's a massive crater. And then once this project's finished, which would take a little while, then our next massive project would be to make a massive mob arena. So massive mob spawners, massive arenas to hold them different options to fight them and everything else it would be really cool to do um, I've seen it happen a couple of times on other people's things and it's a lot of effort but if you guys I can do that and uh, I wouldn't tell a certain someone but uh, my girlfriend has said that she may give Minecraft a go of doing some videos with me if I hit a manageable size of subs or views and this isn't any kind of demand to you guys or anything, it's just a little side pointer. She said if I get to 1,000 subs or 100,000 views in the next few months, then uh, she might consider joining me on a few videos. And seeing as that she has no clue about Minecraft at all, it would be rather funny to be honest for me. I don't know about it for you guys, but I'm sure we could actually uh, find a simple map, maybe a I don't know, puzzle map or something and put her in it. See her do some raging. Would be quite funny. Uh, so yeah. I've been wanting to get her on it for a while but she doesn't like games so it could be quite fun. And this staircase is still broken. I need to find a nice staircase design for the way going up to this massive sky fortress. And there's one other thing that I should have really mentioned a long time ago but the person hasn't got back to me still. Um, someone did actually donate some money. So I had my first donation last week or so, which was really impressive for me. And you know, really nice, the person that did donate. Oh, there goes a the slime. And I know a lot of people have, they make a massive thing about having all these donating shrines and everything like that. And I'm not really expecting any donations at all, I never was it was just there in case people wanted to donate towards the server and things eventually if I get enough donations I'll put this online <coughs> so we can actually get 
some more interactive things going. And sorry, my voice is going. <coughs> but uh, I thought about this massive tower I'm doing. Well, massive sky fortress. And I want to make it like a castle sort of thing. So a massive keep in the middle. Then I have towers spiring on the outside and stuff. All lit up with glowstone. I think that would look really cool. And maybe one of the towers are used for donations. So it won't be very big. I'll just have some signs in there and stuff. And I think that... I know a lot of people do sorts of random things, like you can have different blocks and stuff. I think, to celebrate the 1.4, we will use the picture frames. And you can have an item of your choice. And then you have a sign underneath saying your name and everything else. And uh, I can take suggestions of what to do with it. As in, what to do on the server for it. So yeah. And I've got some other things to talk to you about. My super, well, my, my hardcore series is may even be finished by now, by the time I've done this video. Um, I've still got to record the Ender Dragon fight. So I'm really looking forward to doing that after this, probably. And uh, I've absolutely loved the series. And I'd love to do a Season 4. I know a lot of you quite like the series. But Season 4, I don't think you'd want to see the same thing again. No, I've done that. Well, hopefully I've done that by then. Hopefully I don't die on the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon is rather tough sometimes, depending on the spawns and stuff. But um got that to look forward to. And um I thought about season four and I've been playing around the ultra hardcore stuff and I really enjoy that and it is really intense and uh quite good to watch. I like watching it to be honest. But uh I thought for a season four I could do an ultra hardcore challenge series. So it would be a challenge accepted ultra hardcore. So it wouldn't be like killing the end dragon things. Well, it may eventually, but it wouldn't be the aim. So things like getting a full set of diamond on ultra hardcore is a massive achievement. No, an absolutely massive achievement. And I think that's something that would be really cool to do. And I have different targets on it, so you'd all set them. So things like making a mob trap on Ultra Hardcore would be insane. And I think that would be amazing to do. I know I've done it on the Hardcore. And they just you'd have to learn different ways of doing everything in Minecraft. That's the problem with the Ultra Hardcore. You know how to do things and then you get to the Ultra Hardcore. And basically everything changes because you can't do normal things. And if you don't know what ultra, ultra, yeah, the Ultra Hardcore is, it's where you can't get health back anyway. So your hearts go down, they never come back up, unless you eat a golden apple, which restores two hearts, or use a health potion, which restores four hearts. And you might think, oh, that's not too bad. But they make it even harder, because a golden apple is normally eight, in oh, eight nuggets, which you get from one bar. One bar gives you nine nuggets, so less than one bar makes a golden apple. So you think, yeah, that's pretty good quite easy challenge. Well, this is a bit different because you need eight bars, so eight ingots, to make one golden apple. So, they're rather hard to do, and then for the potion, it takes a gold block to make a potion. So, it's incredibly hard compared to normal. So, one skeleton can end you, basically. Now, in here, I might bat him off, then heal up. There, a skeleton could cause major problems, and I mean major problems. If you want to go look at the ultra hardcore that I did on the channel, I did um, it's two parts actually on there. See, you can do ultra hardcore against people or challenge it yourself. I think challenges be good, and I'll try and do more team ones as well. I'd love to do some team ones with subscribers, but um, we'll see about that. The problem with doing it with subscribers is really I need to have a dedicated server for it online. And at the moment I'm just running a local one. So it's basically all down to the PC and the internet connection here. Which isn't always the best thing for people overseas. Even though I have a good connection here. So, the bottom layer is pretty much finished. And I think I'm going to finish this up and then we'll continue with some of the building for the water park. I did some work on the live stream that I did recently a couple of days ago, well yesterday here, but maybe the day before now, once I've rendered this and got it ready. So we'll do some more work over there, 
and make some final decisions on the designs and what I also want to do today is make a jungle temple you may have seen on one of the other tours I did I found a jungle tem temple took an awful long time but I did find one and I designed it again from scratch so I demolished it on the on this rebuilt it in creative and did a tutorial on it so I'm going to go watch my own tutorial and rebuild it from scratch over there I think that look really cool. I probably want to put it a little bit into the ground and have just the opening on top. But I think that'll look really cool. Now, who else has a jungle temple in their base? Come on. It'll look great. So I'm going to try and do that. It'll probably take me a good four or five hours to actually get that perfect. Sort that out. I've been doing this bit here for the last eight hours, I think it was. I had to watch some TV and stuff while I was doing it. So, we try and get, I'll make sure I get this done, and then I'll try and get the temple done for today. So, I'll see you in a bit. What? Golden zombie! Golden zombie! Isn't he cool and cute and I'm running out of path to run? Hmm. Kill these. Don't you messing up my little zombie fight? Oh, you hit hard, I assume. Actually, you do hit hard. Wow. Do new mobs hurt more than normal? This is hard mode, but what was a norm normal zombie hit? Heart and half? A heart? Oh, let me hit you. No, let me... Oh, I only got no armor on, basically. So, let him hit me once. Oh, yeah, see, only a uh, heart and half. Can we get any armor off him? This is a looting sword, by the way, so... If there's any chance to get any armor off him... Check as our creepers around. Then... It's now... Oh, oh, Skelly. He's taking a lot of hits though, isn't he? And you need to go away. Don't want to die. Not now. Nope, nothing. Well, I'll show you very quickly. And yes, I'm a Steve because Minecraft.net is still playing up in 1.4 as well as 1.3. Absolute pain. But over here, I'll show you briefly. I actually finished the bottom layer and I've got to tell you the plans for the rest of it now and I had one more super idea um, some people kept asking me if I was going to do paintball and stuff and no, I've seen some mod stuff, plug-in stuff for paintball inside Minecraft which is okay-ish but not really Minecraft but there's also the paintball that they have you do it with bow and arrows and you build an arena. Oh, it's got a load. Wow. See how big of an area it is. This thing still, I just finished it a little bit ago. And I was just going to go build this jungle temple. When this loads. Whoa, hang on. Over there, in the desert, where we've got the big flat land, I'm thinking of flattening that out and building a big paintball arena. What that is, you can come on here when I do some live streams, and it's basically a mini game. You have different teams that you can have, and then there'll be a big arena with lots of tunnels and passages and high bits and low bits and cover and foliage and everything else. And it's basically a death match with bow and arrow. So you get a load of arrows, a normal bow, and no armor. So that's our paintball. So I will be building that at some point. It might take a little while, depending on the feedback. Um, if feedback's really good, then I'll obviously hurry up and try and do that bit first. This project over here is a long project. Between these uh, episodes, I'm going to have to be taking a lot of resource gathering time. So I might demolish the whole of that forest there. I might set it all alight, actually. Because setting things alight is hilarious now in 1.4. I don't know if you've seen it. Forest fires spread amazingly fast. So I might set something on light, well set something on fire for you at some point um, maybe not today but I will if you want me to it says how big it is and I need to build these massive obsidian columns so the bottom is 176 stacks which is 176 times by 64 if I can see this in the dark it's over 11,000 blocks so that bottom bit is over 11,000 blocks 
that's why I use obsidian and use lava for it but also I'm gonna need a lot of obsidian so think about it each level is gonna be about mm, no, 5 to 8 if it's gonna up 100 that's what 5 800 obsidian on each pillar if I do 5 pillars that's 4000 obsidian that's three two and a half chests worth double chests so that's what I'm going to be doing between these episodes and trying to gather as much as we can and also I need to collect over 30,000 pieces of dirt I've got a double chest already ish which is about 1500 I think I can't remember how many can't remember how many uh, box uh, stacks go into a chest I'll check that at some point actually one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six fifty four stacks a thing yeah hundred seventy six works out I'm not sure actually anyway don't worry about the math it's a lot of blocks and together so I'm thinking of destroying I don't know I like the rainforest the rainforest is good for mob spawning because mobs can't spawn on the leaves on the foliage and things like that they can spawn the desert everywhere so it helps my mob spawner here if they can't spawn there same way as they can't spawn the water and it helps it um, I'll probably go to my emerald farm and then from there I'll just destroy the whole area actually I was going to do that anyway wasn't I my emerald farm miles over there I'm going to decimate and dig out um, yeah I'll do that and I'll just bring it back on powered minecraft powered minecraft powered minecarts so anyway I wasn't really planning on um, recording this bit but as I saw the zombie I thought I might as well explain some things now and I've got a sword and yes these um, zombies are quite hilarious now because they pick up items you can I'm not sure how you can do it but I've seen that you drop the items and then what hit me there uh, arrow. A couple of seconds later they'll pick them up. I'm not really sure of the conditions yet of how to make them pick it up. If I work it out then I'll do a little video on how to make them do it because it really is quite funny. You know, they pick up things like string and stuff just naturally. If you can make them pick up pink wool and stuff that'd be quite hilarious. Or zombie meat. I've seen them have zombie meat actually before. So I will upload that separate one if I can do that. Um, so far at the moment here though I've built this fountain. I did, did most of this on the live stream using the new cobblestone fences it looks okay I think it's just a fountain got the lights in the bottom I'm trying to think of ways to make it look nicer and more in this sort of um, shabby sort of area I want to make it look like so I'm going to have a jungle temple there need to think of where I want to where, where I actually want to on the level so if I want to sink it down a lot I think the bottom room so the bottom half it needs to be underground and um, the top half will need to be above ground but I need to know how to do the area around it I will sort that out in this video so that's enough information and talking from me enough boring stuff now onto the good stuff I'm going to pause now and build the temple so probably take me about five hours or something but it'll be a second for you so see you in a second put your hands in the air you gotta love glitches don't you Ah. <laughs> uh, Party and iron golems. Woo! Oh, now they're moving. <laughs> I was trying to get these zombies to work. I got a few of them to pick up some things. I have one with a bone and one with a villager egg. One of these ones. And obviously you can't get that normally. But they just seem to be incredibly rare to pick things up. And just incredibly random. So I've seen a lot where they have string and stuff they picked up and I had a couple here that had um, oh, the eyes there's the spider eyes and uh, it just seems incredibly random so I don't know if there's an exact science about it but I'll leave that trying for today and uh, if I do find out how to do it exactly then uh, I will put up as the other video but oh well back to building so see you in a sec hey guys just back for a second before I go and build it there I'm probably going to build it about there-ish dig it into the ground maybe raise it up 
one or two and then I can build up to it. Got my fountain over there, I put a couple of the water things here. And I thought it'd be nice to show you the before bit and then the after bit. And I've got another thing to tell you, I have upgraded the textures. I bunged on the MC patcher and just enabled the better grass and slightly better textures. This is not another text pack or anything. So the grass grass actually goes around corners and stuff when it grows. And I've got connected textures on, so these ones are meant to be connected now. Doesn't look too much different to me. It might look better on the video. That's what I was really going for. I'm not a mods kind of person, but doing this sort of thing is just helping you guys because uploading 1080p I'd like it to actually help rather than just be a waste of space for you guys so I will just give you another shot when we get the whole temple done probably take me quite a while like I said but for you and be a second so here's your second and we're back well that's quick wasn't it <laughs> for you anyway well, stronghold's done. Well, temple, stronghold, temple, whatever you want to call it. I add a little bit of grass on the edge and add a tiny bit of lighting. I don't know if this is fitting, but I thought it looked okay. So it's here for the moment at least. Put a little grass in as well. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it's very organised grass, I have to say. <laughs> Put in some stone stairs as well. Using the nice curving around the corner feature, I really like that. And I just worked out that you don't need a, another stair block there to make your own a corner. You can just actually click it onto the floor, basically, and it will merge into it. But there are ways where you can make it just go across. Sometimes where you can make it go weird ways. See, so yeah, it's a bit fiddly. I'm getting used to that. So that looks quite nice. And if you haven't seen the temple before on my tutorial or on the other LPs, then here it is. Normally there wouldn't be any torches in here, but for my mob system I need it lit up, which is unfortunate, but it still looks pretty good. The only thing I haven't done is load up the dispensers. As you see, the dispensers uh, get activated still. I've even put the chest back. haven't put anything in them though, but it still looks pretty good in here. So you've never seen the Jungle Temple, you should download the world and have a look. Have a look at the tutorial if you want to. Um, I will link it in the description just in case you haven't seen that yet. And I've done all the vines they should be. So it should be exact to the one I found before. Just moved here. And it's about, well from here, it's five tall on this bit. So there's one block there and there's two more blocks underneath that. So it does go underground a little bit. And I think that looks really good. I made me to do water feature stuff around it and little rivers and things. Which look quite nice. I've Start a little couple of designs here. This one's a too high one, well, a too wide one anyway, with the new uh, fences. I would use cob um, mossy as well for this, but I didn't have any at the time. And now, actually, after I've done this, I don't think I've got much cobble left at all, uh, mossy, which is um, a bit annoying. So I think I will have to go do some raiding. And I think I see a mistake. Yes, I do. Hmm. Let me go check that. One second. And we're back. Yes, pretty simple. Lucky I still have one block on me. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can look on top of the temple now. I put the torches on so it should be mob safe. If it's not, then I'll come and change it. But it looks okay at the moment. So, I think it looks pretty cool. Looks quite cool with the forest. I want to bit put some trees back after I organise some waterways and things. Um, things gonna look really cool for that. But I think that's about it for this one. It's a reasonable length, I hope. I don't want it to be too short, even though it's been. <laughs> I spent all day recording this one, doing all of that over there and doing all this and then sorting it out. Oh, darn! There's a spider on top. That can't just spawn there, can it? Really? Oh, I have to sort that lighting sometime. Anyway. Okay, this is... I'm going to have to have lighting along here anyway. What I wanted to do was 
As I've done all that in pumpkins, I quite like that in pumpkins. But I don't want this bit in pumpkins at all. I want to use all redstone lamps. So I need to do a butt switch. So a night day detection switch, basically. I need to find somewhere to put that. Probably put the sensors in the sea somewhere over there. And then wire it up. Have to be in the chunks that are loaded, so might have to go that way. And where you can see there is basically where the forest finishes. And if I can find the file, I will show you really quickly at the end, of, well, in a minute, what this used to look like before I put it onto the server. So that's it for this bit, and I'll see you in a second. And welcome back, guys, to what the server used to look like. When I first used the seed and I plugged it into a slime calculator basically and worked out where the slime chunks were, I came into creative, mapped them out, and then from there basically I then put it onto the server and then from then on I didn't use creative. I only used creative just to map it out because I'd never done slime chunks before. And, and you can see in my LP, this chunk here the 16 by 16 is the only slime chunk I'm actually using so I basically didn't use any of the rest so there's nothing to worry about that and this tree here as you can see is the original tree obviously in here which is then on my LP, on the LP if you go look there is a tree there still with the wooden bits on top of it with my chests on which is my original tree in my original first hidey hole so that tree is original and it will stay there probably although I have cut out the earth underneath it so up here there was a swamp there was down here, look, none of this was the same there wasn't anything over there at all if we go look under here, this was the first natural hole this is now completely covered up I did use this one point for like a storage system my first little underground place but then I filled it in. See, all this was forest. Lovely, lovely, lush forest. Or uneven sand. So you can really see what I've done to this place. And over here, there should be a hole in the ground. Should be. Under here, there was like a cave system. Yeah, we are. So this, I actually haven't filled all this up yet. My tunnel, glass tunnel, comes down this bit, sort of bit. This was all filled in. So there's a little cave and stuff underneath it which is all filled in. I don't think I filled this bit here in. I've just got it lit up and covered over. What else have we got over here? This was the desert. So where the iron farm is now that leads up to that here. And where all this is about 20 blocks lower, most of it. So most of it's down to about here now. So you can see that's a good 10 blocks so there. And then all of this area doesn't exist anymore, basically, doesn't it? If you look on the LP chunks not loading, wait for that to load. So this used to be rather quite high for a desert and it is no longer here basically I've mined almost all of it out up to about there or so. This is where I want to put my um, paintball arena. I'll probably just dig out some more sand and do it there. I was thinking about putting the paintball arena in the Sky Fortress like in a le in a sub level in between the bottom and the top, or putting it on like a glass platform out the edge, after the top. But I think that took me a long time to get to the top of the sky fortress, and I won't be showing you much of that. I'll just be showing you progress now and then. So I didn't think I'd want to wait that long. If I want to do some subscriber events, so as you can see, this is a lovely, lush, massive forest. Well, massive here, ends still as you can see, ends like here. So, what I just showed you, the end bit is about here, the temple is then about here. So you can see how much work I have done on this server. And uh, it's really nice. I really like coming back in here and look at it, see how much work I've done. And I've only really been playing the server for about, well, as in proper work, probably about three or four weeks, maybe a month and a half. I started this world in July, middle of July, start of July, no, end of June, middle of June, 
So yes, June, July, August. And in that I was working full time and I still am working full time so and then when I started YouTube I was only doing a bit now and then on the server. Um I was focusing on the other series. But there. I just thought for a bit of nostalgia and see where I've come from. I thought you might like to see this map. And uh if you want a download for this map here and the coordinates for here, no, I wouldn't mind giving it to you, but you'd have to ask because well, you have to ask I guess. And that means you can come on here and check the spawners down there if you want to. The only thing I can't guarantee is this is all exactly the same as my LP. But if you generate new land now, depending on what version you're in, I can't trust that the generated land will be the same. And if you look here, we're on minus 600 odd. I wasn't here originally for spawn, so I'm the same spawn as the other one, but I'm not sure if that'll stay the same either. So you can, I'll just put the coordinates up there anyway. So you can check the spawners down there is a cave spawner. There is a zombie spawner-ish, and just over must be yeah it's actually over here. You can see the little bumps in the ground. So I've got one bump in the ground here for the hostile mob spawner, and there's a little pool here, and there is a little um, smooth stone box here, which brings the the skeletons up there. So just under there is a skeleton spawner. So it is all very convenient and very legitimate. So. I think it's the end of the server tour for today. I spent a lot of time on it, so uh, I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's quite action-packed. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon.